What's up everybody, man? It's raining today. Gotta make these gains happen. Gotta make these gains happen. The baby's back home. I haven't been in the gym since last week pretty much because, you know, Monday and Tuesday I had to prep my wife to go to surgery on Wednesday. And then pretty much I've been in the hospital with her, you know what I'm saying? Just supporting her, not going to work. And just taking time away from school and everything just so that way make sure my baby comes home both my babies are home now and it's time for me to make some gains but unfortunately I don't know when I'm gonna be able to make some more gains because shit man my schedule is kind of hectic right now and and I got to do full body man this is one of those days you just got to do full body it's fucking shock the body for the shit it is so that's what I'm gonna do you know what I'm saying that's why I'm saying like splits Works for motherfuckers who ain't got shit to do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm I'm glad y'all motherfuckers got a uh, predictable ass schedule. But for people like me who don't have predict predictable schedules, unstable schedules, we got to do what we got to do. Get in when we can get in. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, with that being said, um, let's get into uh, today's workout. I'm trying to record as much as possible, man. I don't know how packed the gym is on a fucking rainy day. It sometimes it's on, sometimes it's off, but who cares, man? I'm trying to get in as much as I can, all right? So we're back in the training, and I start off with some back squats, some high bar squats, warming up. I have been training almost a week, man, and almost a week. Can you believe that shit, man? But I've just been busy, you know, handling kids, handling, you know, my wife, my mother that came out from Switzerland. I've just been busy, man. I'm just, I got to get in when whenever I can you know so doing strength training not doing any power lifting going in warming up five reps down to one rep kind of thing you know hitting my main heavy compound movements my strength hasn't disappeared if anything it's getting quite easier the more I do it raw no belts no knee straps none of that queer stuff that most of you guys are wearing you know um yeah, I got to build that natural stability and perfect form. I want to say perfect form. Good form. And taking your reps one at a time is going to build you that nice foundation and that strength. That strength that I've been yearning for. That, that strength I've been training for. You know, um, as you see right here. You know, 185 to 205, 225 right here. Too easy. You know what I'm saying? Um, I could, I could, I did, there was a one point where I did 225 for five with a belt on, but it didn't give me that satisfaction. As you can see right here, whew, building up that momento, that was momento. But anyways, that was a 255, um, PR for the back squat, high bar. Working on some OHPs right here, you know. And what I've learned with uh, OHPs, it's something you have to take take slow, you know. Because uh, if you bench press, you, you do all that other stuff, it's going to let you know that OHPs, it's something you have to take slow. You know, uh, you have to have a very, very slow pace for it. And the strength will come. But slowly and surely, you can't just force your strength into it. You know, a perfect form or say very good form on OHP is very crucial. And I got a very uh, strong PR off of this. I, I did 155 pounds on this bad boy. I never thought I could do 155 pounds. Honestly, man, I was struggling so much with just 135 pounds. See, right here. Oh, oh, the grind. The grind right there. Bam, 155. I didn't even think it was my one rep max, but it ended up to be my one rep max. <laughs> Whew, dangerous. Anyways, um, I love this power rack, man. I wish I had this one at home, man. Just, I'm in love with that power rack. You know, just uh, chin ups and pull ups. Four sets of five. Keep my reps low. Um, keep my sets moderate, you know. I want to build quality repetitions, not massive amount of repetition, and it looks like shit, you know. And I've seen great gains from it. I got a great pump out of all of it. 
And um, tell you what, uh, I'm still building lean muscle. I haven't lost strength. Still building that lean muscle. Less is more. Less is more. I'll tell you what, less is more. So, um, accessory movements right here. I actually like this uh, <laughs> leg press right here. You know, it's um, I think I did like 230 pounds for like 20 reps or some crazy shit like that. 20 or 30 reps. Whatever, I'm not going to count it out. I just kept on going. You know, I just want to get that endurance um, in, into my legs because that's what's really helped, you know, to stay fit and overall, you need that endurance in it. and um, moderate weight. And then uh, accessory movements, you know, keeping it, keeping it short and keeping it real. Hamstring curls, you know, I only did a few sets, five reps, increasing the weights on it, no more high reps kind of shit. I, my body, you know, once you train long enough, you kind of see what works for your body. And, um, those reps for me so build thicker, long lasting strength and muscle and endurance. You know, my body's really small. I can't be doing that fucking 30 or 40 rep shit that my machine lets me know what these fuckers are doing. You know, my body's really small. I'm not gonna be a CT Fletcher. I don't wanna get a fucking three time heart attack kind of shit, you know? Eat until you fucking get a heart attack. That's not what I do. Alright. You gotta know how to do things. You gotta know what works out for you. Anyways, um, you know, finished it off with one of these bad boys. I couldn't really do more clips because I knew it was gonna run too long. But, anyways, man, it's your boy Jason Yamamoto. And I'll talk to you guys later. Nice. Breathe.